Ready for another edition of War Paint TV? Brought to you by Cotman Transmission, Olathe, Kansas, 913-768-1555. Welcome back to Warpaint TV right here at WarpaintIllustrated.com. Once again, I'm Shane Williams, along here with Chiefs Insider Nick Athen. How's it going today, Nick? Great, Shane. How are you? Great. Hey, which which Chiefs <laughs> are we going to see? I mean, we talked last week about when are we going to see some offense. We saw some defense. Chiefs went and played Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with us, losing a game yeah. that was seven minutes left. The Chiefs were up by ten points. Uh, the defense couldn't hold them. Uh, what 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 did you take from last Sunday's game? Well, I mean, I was disappointed, but I knew when they were down by ten up by ten points, they were going to lose. I just had that feeling that old, familiar Chiefs defense that we'd saw in the past. But let's look at the positives. They needed a game like this. They have to learn how to win these games. Remember, they've won ten games in the last three years. They, they're three and zero. They're the talk of the town. They played well at Indianapolis. They should have beat them. They should have beat the Texans. They just at this point in the season don't know how to win these games. So what do you do if you're Todd Haley? You make sure you make them look at that game film over and over again. He talks about one thing. Make sure when an opportunity or a situation is presented that you act accordingly. And that's what the Chiefs failed to do for on many occasions. Offense, defense, special teams, all three parts of this football team failed at times. And if one of those things had been done differently, maybe the Chiefs come out of victory. But learn from your mistakes. I think this is a good thing because I think in November and December when they get in situations like this again, they're going to know what to do. They're going to know what to expect. So, hey, despite everything, three and two, a game and a half lead in the AFC West. So I'm disheartened that they lost, but I think they made some strides. And I think right now they're a better team at three and two than they were at 3 0 because of what happened to them the last two weeks. But what they do going forward is really all that matters. Before we move ahead, I want to ask a question about Romo Cornell's. Uh, he doesn't blitz much. No. When he does blitz, he maybe sends a linebacker up the middle. There was no all out blitzes. Mm -hmm. Matt Schaub had all day to pass. Uh, do you think that's something we're going to see throughout the season until the safeties, you know, get more acclimated to get some playing time? Or do you think Cornell's going to stick with this scheme? He's going only going to rush for. He's not going to blitz often. Because Javier Arenas mm -hmm. was drafted because of his right. blitz scheme. You know, he was good at blitzing. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think we'll see Cornell stick with this uh, same scheme? Well, I think what happened is they were surprised. I mean, I think Romeo Cornell was surprised on how well the Houston Texans offensive line played. They'd been beaten and battered. They lost their star left tackle due to a suspension. There were a lot of overriding factors. He didn't expect them to play that well. And you mentioned Javier Arenas. They needed him in pass coverage because Donald Washington wasn't getting it done. He was late covering the run. He was late covering the pass. Eric Berry looks completely lost out there. He couldn't afford at this point in time to send everybody. He did that in the last drive on downs one and two, but he didn't in down three, which made no sense. But Again, you know what? It's a learning experience for him, too. Now he kind of knows what he has. Again, the five toughest games on the schedule, the Chiefs are 3-2. and two. They had 11 games left. They should win seven of those 11 worst-case scenario just playing average football against some, some very average football teams. We'll be right back after a brief message from our good friends at Cotman Transmission. My experience at Cotman was phenomenal. They worked on my car while I waited. I was in and out in less than maybe like 30 minutes. When you're dealing with your car, you drive it every day. You need someone that you can trust to work on it. It's a good experience. I'm a Cotman customer for life. I trust Cotman. He's my Cotman man and he keeps me rolling along. All right, the Jacksonville Jaguars come to Arrowhead Stadium uh, off an embarrassing 30-3 to home loss. Uh, David Gard was knocked out of the game. Mm -hmm. Trent Edwards is, looks like he'll be their quarterback. He was here two years ago with the Buffalo. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. That's old news. <laughs> he was here two years ago when the Buffalo Bills put up 54 points on Thanksgiving weekend. He had the game of his life. Yeah, they, did. And they just signed uh, Tim Bowman right. to their team because Trent Edwards has had a bad thumb. This will be obviously the first game the Chiefs will be predicted to win. They haven't been predicted to win at all at mm -hmm. Vegas. So what's it going to take for the Chiefs to take care of business well, this Sunday? They can't worry about who the quarterback is. I mean, Patrick Ramsey's probably going to get signed as well this week. Uh, you know, they don't know. The Chiefs don't know which quarterback they're going to face. It doesn't matter. They just need to go out and beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. The team that's in front of them, they have to beat. The Chiefs should win. They should win the following week against Buffalo. They should win at Oakland. They have a chance to win at Denver. I mean, it's all right there for them. The problem the Chiefs have is they haven't yet come down 
uh, on one of their opponents. They've risen to the occasion in every game, even the Cleveland game. The Browns played a good football game, and Kansas City was in that game. They did what they had to do to win. Same mentality here. Don't play the level of the opponents. No question. In my opinion, Jaguars are an inferior team to the Chiefs. Doesn't mean the Chiefs are going to win on Sunday. They should win on Sunday, but what they have to make sure they do is play every snap, play every game, have the same energy, never quit, never die, which is what they've done for five games. So even though we all know, and they probably know, the schedule isn't as daunting over the next 11 weeks, it starts right here this weekend against Jacksonville. Pound them into submission. Get that bad taste of those two losses out of you. Go on and prepare for Buffalo. Do the same thing and get them, and then back on the road for two weeks. Don't miss another edition of War Paint Illustrated the magazine. To get your subscription today, call 888-979-0979. That's 888-979-0979 or check out warpaintillustrated.com.